What's up guys, this is Pro Warriors. Nintendo Switch is one of the best handheld gaming system. Every gamers had dreamed to buy it but can't afford for high price. Today our worries will be over because with the help of Surachi which is a new Nintendo Switch emulator, you can run any Nintendo Switch games like FIFA 24, Super Mario, Mortal Kombat, Pokemon Go or any other Nintendo Switch games on your Android phone. Today's video is our step by step tutorial and in this video we will cover how to install the Sudachi emulator, initial setup guide, then how to install product keys, configuration and best settings, at the last how to install games on the Sudachi emulator. Please like and subscribe to our channel and don't forget to hit the bell button. What's up guys, this is Pro Warriors. At first, let me introduce Sudachi is a new emulator for Android that enables you to run and play your favorite hybrid console games on your smartphone. Sudachi provides a completely free service so that you can enjoy your favorite Nintendo Switch games in 4K at 60 FPS without the need for a high-end device. Before we get started, make sure you have Android 10 or above, minimum 6GB RAM, 8GB most recommended and enough free storage on your phone for the system files and game rooms. The first thing we are going to do is to download and install the Sudachi emulator on our Android phone. We will get the Sudachi application from their GitLab page. If you can find the download option, you can join our Discord server. I have given the invitation link in the description. We have already shared the direct link on our server. Once we have downloaded the APK of Sudachi, then and install the application. After that, let's go ahead and open it up. Surachi will welcome us, then click on get started button. Then we have to grant permission to allow notification from Suyu. Now what they will ask to do is give your production keys or product keys. Without this case, Surachi will not allow us to run any games. Click on the select keys, then go to the folder in your file manager. You might be wondering where you will get this case. Just open a browser and search for Yuzu product keys. Select the product keys. Immediately a note will be displayed that keys have been successfully installed. Now tap on the next button. After that it's going to ask you to identify the games folder. Sudachi will automatically detect games and show them in the game library. So tap on add games then go to the file manager and navigate to the games folder. You can see I have already downloaded some games. Wait a minute now we might be wondering why I get these games and which games you should download. Before going to download any games you must know that game is playable or not. Yuzu has released a compatibility game list in their GitLab page. I have given the link in the description. From this list you can get thousands of games that are playable in the Sudachi emulator. Now another common question, which website do I use to download Suyu ROMs? Guys, it's very simple. Select a game from the compatibility list, then open the Chrome browser, write the game name, then write NSP. NSP is the game format. I think now you can easily download games. There are several sources for that. After downloading the file, make sure you have unzipped it and move the file to the game folder. Tap on use this folder which is at the bottom. It will allow Surachi to have access to this folder. Now tap on next button. Its system has already set the primary configuration. Click on the continue button. Here is our game list. Before we are going to play any games, let's configure settings. Click on the gear icon which is at the bottom right corner. Now click on advanced settings. Open the general option. I suggest you to turn off the limit speed option to use the maximum resources. If you enable the docked mode, it will increase the resolution but decrease performance. So if your device is not good enough, better you disable it. Under the option of graphics, leave CPU accuracy at normal. You can set resolution up to 4x but I suggest you to use the native display resolution of of your device because higher resolution demands higher configuration. There are lots of useful
through options like orientation, aspect ratio, shutters, but I don't like to touch them because it can be very device to device. So you should play with them to identify the best settings for you. Now back to the main settings, there is an option to install the GPU driver. If your device has a Snapdragon processor, you can install custom GPU driver in the description. But if your device has a Mali or MediaTek processor, you don't have that option to install custom GPU driver. Finally, the time has come to play Nintendo Switch games on Sudachi emulator. The gaming experience is as like as Yuzu emulator and I think you will stop playing on your Nintendo Switch even you have it. You can join our Discord server for any type of information. Please like and subscribe to our channel and don't forget to hit the bell button.